Welcome in everybody. Go ahead and sit tight. We're going to be getting started in about five minutes or so. Nate, D.O. Dub, my man, Double Dog Nate, Liz, Al, what's going on guys? We're getting started very shortly guys. Welcome in everybody. We're going to go ahead and give it another three minutes or so to let people gather in and we're going to get started. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Be with you shortly.
All right, guys, I gotta run upstairs and grab one thing, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Be right back. What color chef coat you think I'm wearing tonight, you guys? Go ahead and take a guess. Good evening. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, Season 2, Episode 4. Uh, tonight we're doing a little bit of fall edition for you guys, welcoming you into the season. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see all you guys here in chat. What's going on, everyone? Nate, Al, Liss. I see Dilly D up in the chat. What's going on, guys? Fave Chef Coat? Yeah, I think it's my favorite, too, at this point, to be honest with you. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, tonight, we got a great dish coming in for you guys. I'm super excited. I uh, was planning on doing it last week, uh, up until time that we had to kind of flip the schedule to run on you guys. So I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, probably going to take a little bit of an adjustment for some people to kind of get used to the new schedule, which is all good. It's all good. What's up, Jason? My man. My dude. Oh, shit. Look at that. Maxi coming in with a 14-month resub. Twitch Prime. Thanks, Maxi. I appreciate it. Welcome. What's up, handsome? My goodness. Peeping in the kitchen and shit. What's going on, guys? Yellow Red Bull? Oh, shit. I didn't think you could see that. What's going on, everybody? You see the new addition to the kitchen? Thanks to Kaylee, hooking it up. Hey, mom, oh yeah, all right, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with you guys. Um, we did have a couple trolls last week. So, um, I'm going ahead, modding my new, uh, my new pops, my new step pops. Ryan, yeah, I just gave you mod. Uh, Jason, I'm gonna go ahead and give you mod. And, uh, Dylan, I'm going to give you mod. Oh, you already are modded. Okay. Just so you guys can go ahead and take care of the, uh, go ahead and take care of these guys if, if you see them in chat. Just get them out. Don't even pay attention to them. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to, they're trying to stop my shine, so they can suck it. All right, guys. So look, this is what we got going on tonight. We're going to be doing a, um, a roasted uh, rack of lamb, but we're not just going to do, you know, your ordinary rack of lamb where you season it up and pop it in. We're going to coat it in yogurt. Some just basic old white yogurt um, and we're going to chop up some herbs with a little bit of garlic and um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cake that um, those lamb chops up and um, we're going to roast it with that so we'll get them started by itself kind of jump start it because they do take a minute then we'll pull it out we'll coat it up with the yogurt put the herbs on it a little bit of spices pop that bitch back in there and let it soak in all that flavor it's going to be super super delicious um, we're going to accompany that along with a uh, butternut squash puree. Um, we have done one in the past uh, with a duck dish in season one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to accompany it with that. Uh, we're going to do some thick sliced Roma tomatoes that we're going to roast in the oven with herbs and garlic and oil. We're going to let it really infuse uh, flavor. We're going to keep them nice and thick, right, so they have a good bite. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and do some uh, sauteed Brussels sprouts. Um, neon green on the back, 
um, nice and sauteed down golden brown on the bottom for presentation. We're all about presentation tonight. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna have a beautiful plating. It's gonna look awesome. It's gonna be very fall vibed. Um, it's gonna look absolutely great. I'm, I'm super excited. Well, hello. Someone wants to say hi to you guys real quick. Ooh. Say hello, big boy. Someone wanted to say hi for the camera. What's going on, everybody? Say hi to cousins, Nani, all our friends. What's going on, everybody? Oh, look at those smiles. We're going to have a good show tonight? Yeah. Say hi to everyone. Big boy. For the, all, of you, all of you new guys in chat, this is my son, Caden, eight months old. A little chef, exactly. He's got a uniform he'll be putting on at some point. Got to grow into it a little bit more. Let's get them Cousin Drew emotes in chat for my boy Caden, huh? Oh, you like being in the spotlight? All right, natural FPS right there. Yeah, headshots only, baby. Headshots only. Yeah, you happy boy. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. We've got a lot to do. Thank you again for, uh, for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. Episode four, season two, going strong. All right, guys. Oh, that's what I forgot. I did forget one ingredient, sorry. That's gonna make the plate look even more amazing. And I totally forgot because I'm a little bit stoned. Um, we're gonna be doing some braised red kale. We're gonna chop up some shallots, some garlic, you know, a little bit of seasoning, and we're gonna braise it in some chicken stock. Um, so my, my picturing on this, we are gonna, you guys are gonna go ahead, once we get everything kind of cooked off, you guys can go ahead and choose what color plate we wanna use tonight, whether it's the gray or white. Um, and uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna picture, basically I want you guys to imagine having you know the, the orange butternut squash puree kind of laid out across the plate. The lamb chops, I wanna go ahead and individually slice them. Um, we're gonna angle a bone up with the thick roasted um, Roma tomatoes in between each medallion. Um, that's gonna give our plate height along with color. Um, and then I see the uh, braised greens kind of dressed around that, almost like wrapped around the outside of it. Um, and then the Brussels, I want some laid golden, you know, sauteed side up, and then others flipped over so you get that neon green so we kind of have a little color scheme going. So let's kind of, you know, get, get going in your imagination, guys. Um, I always here to take a little bit of, you know, of your, your knowledge and, you know, we can always tweak it around like that. Um, so yeah, and then think about what plate you want to do it on as you kind of see all the ingredients come together, all the colors and everything. Um, so we got to clean up our rack of lamb just a tad bit. Um, we do want to get our butternut squash um, cleaned up and roasted so we can puree it. Um, because we're going to roast it, get a lot of flavor, a little bit of caramelization happening, and then we'll go ahead and just puree it up with a little heavy cream, some seasonings. Um, so that's going to take a minute. We also need to roast off the tomatoes, which tend to go pretty quick, so we're gonna wait. Um, and then, like I said, the lamb, we gotta go ahead and get that started. Um, probably like, start off by sauteing the lamb a little bit, kind of render off some of the fat. And then we'll uh, see what temperature we're at. Depending on that, we'll either crust it with yogurt and herb, or we'll pop it in and let it go a little bit longer, so. Yeah, so um, all, the, all you guys that are new in chat tonight, welcome, welcome, welcome. How it happens here is we got the main cam here, cam one. We got cam two over here with the cutting board. Um, that's where we're gonna be working. I'll do in all our knife cuts. Uh, we'll do, use the blender over here for the puree. Um, and then we'll switch on over and we got our uh, stove top camera, right? So that's where we're gonna be doing all our action. Um, when we do our sautés and our um, 
our brazing, we'll do that on the stove top as well. Feel me? And uh, yeah, and then we got our plating station over here um, where the JMO's sitting. That's where we're gonna put our plate at the end of the stream. Uh, and you know, have it all set up nice for you guys where you can see everything really good. All right, Pablo, chill, chill, Shaniqua. Uh, Bizzle32, thank you so much for the follow, appreciate it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's, let's go ahead and look on over to our butternut squash. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the peeler, see if we can kinda, yeah, it'll be fine. I don't know if the skin was gonna be too rough. So we're gonna shave off the, uh, shave off the skin, right? Because when we puree, we don't want that bitterness of the skin. Um, we don't want it to add any weird, weird textures, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, you can just use your regular old potato peeler. Some squash has really tough skin, almost like pumpkin. Um, those you're gonna shave down with your, with your knife, right? Um, how you would work down a melon, watermelon. Um, you kind of can, you, you can use your knife and shave it and it works out, you know, really, really good. So what, what do you guys got going on tonight? Anyone in chat cooking? Um, anyone want to share what they had for dinner? Um, oh, I do have a little bit of announcement to make later uh, for a little giveaway. It's going to be a subscriber-only giveaway. Um, that'll be happening not this Wednesday, but we'll do next Monday. That'll be the... I still got to go pick out what I want to give away. Um, but we're going to do a subscriber-only giveaway. It's just going to be a random drawing. Um, and, you know, you're going to get a little little kitchen present of your of my choice sent to you all right we're just about done with this little shaving process just gonna work the bottom hey my man Ian thank you brother I appreciate it very much my man coming through with the uh, t1 sub two month Thanks, brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It looks like we're back at uh, 32 subs, guys. Absolutely incredible. We're four streams in, and we're already up to 32 subs. I mean, <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. Make cooking great again, baby. There we go. Mr. Garmin, I see you using your mod. I love it. Keep those little uh, little trolls out of here. You know what I mean? It's about good old-fashioned fun friends and family baby all right so we're shaved down I'm gonna go ahead and take all these uh, drop-ins this is two streams in a row that I didn't change my trash right before the stream my pre my my prep is not not complete I ding myself all right prep back All right, let's get a new trash bag. Pittsburgh 24, Bengals 3, thank you, thank you. Um, so basically what's gonna be going on is uh, Ryan Garmin OC, he's gonna be uh, doing our, um, since we're gonna be streaming on Mondays and Monday Night Football is gonna be happening, uh, whatever sports are happening. Um, anyone needs an update on whatever sport or whatever, reach out to, to uh, Ryan and he's there to go ahead and help us out, give us any updates on the scores that we need, um, considering the sports season is happening. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Get this ready to be roasted. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have this. Make sure you have a sharp knife or so. The reason I half it is because I want to go ahead and see the center where all the seeds are, right? I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to kind of work those, those guts around. Just give it a little bit of a scrape. Nobody wants that crap in your puree. I'm going to do a little scoop right into the trash. Right, see, nice and cleaned up. 
right? Let's go ahead and get the second one done. So what's going on, chat? What's everyone got going on, baby? Happy Monday. Beginning of the work week for some. For me personally, it's my Friday. Ready to chill out. Later tonight, get a little bit of gaming in before bed. After we, me and Kaylee chill, little man, get him down. Watch us some, some uh, scream the TV show a little bit, and then get some games. What y'all got going on? All right, so we got our squash cleaned up. Now we can go ahead and. Uh, so look, we're doing a puree. Nothing needs to be, you know, nice and clean. We pretty much from this point forward need just a little bit of um, consistency just so it, it roasts evenly. Um, but we're going to blend this up so it doesn't need to be anything pretty. It's not like we're serving whole chunks, right? So we're just going to get, get our chunks ready. Butternut squash is pretty tough, so I, I definitely... Uh, recommend having a sharp knife if you're going to be chopping it up. If not, do it in, in smaller bits because it's a, it's a pretty strong uh, pretty strong vegetable. Alright, we're chopped up. We grab a sheet tray. Had a nice bone-in ribeye. Yeah, uh, um. I saw that in the fridge last night too. Gotta get some foil. All right. A little bit of foil down. Grab my olive oil. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of olive oil on our sheet tray. Evenly distribute squash amongst the sheet tray. Make sure it's all kind of laid out. So we're looking to cook it until it's nice and tender, right? Until it's about fork tender or so, where you know it's gonna puree up nicely and we're not gonna leave any chunks. So I'm dousing it with a little oil, we're gonna season it up. We really want the flavor to pop, you know what I mean? Nate, you cook tonight, my man? All right, so we're gonna use some, some bum spices. We're gonna, of course, start with some salt, right? We gotta draw out any of the moisture that the vegetable has inside um, to get the full roasting effect, right? Or else it's just gonna steam. Hit it with our pet. All right. Now we're gonna take um, some cumin bit of cumin on there. Cumin's an absolutely delicious spice. It is pretty strong though. Use it your own discretion. Garlic powder of course. What would food be without garlic? Some a little bit of cinnamon. Right? Now we're talking fall, right? Cinnamon, pumpkin spice, the inner white girl out. And then some chili powder to go ahead and complement that warm spiciness, the cinnamon, okay? Awesome. So we got these babies all seasoned up, you know what I mean? Slaving over the stovetop Bertoli as we speak, yum yum. If you wanna go ahead and take a pic and after you're done and post it in chat, go right ahead. Maximilian coming through with the 500 biddies. Thank you so much, Max, I appreciate it, bae. We're gonna pop these suckers in the oven. We're gonna let them roast. All right. Kale, we're gonna braise. We can not worry about that right now. Our tomatoes, we can slice those up, get them ready to rock. It's nothing too crazy. Those tend to go pretty quick too. We do need to get this lamb 
taken care of because we do have a full rack that we're working with. Um. So we're going to go ahead and work with our lamb over here. Are you kidding me? Alex coming through with 500 biddies as well. Thank you so much, guys. Super, super generous. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate that. Love you guys. Let's head on over to the lamb. You guys are seriously amazing. The support I get from you guys. Love it. All right. Delicious rack of lamb. Raw lamb isn't the most pleasant smelling thing in the world for most people. I, 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 I kind of enjoy it, but you know, it's a little bit odd. Let's go ahead and check it out. I always kind of look at the meat, make sure it's something I want to put in my mouth. Looking good, got a nice fat cap on it. trim just a tiny bit of this fat off especially by the, the rack itself we got a thick cap on here so don't need too too much get all that excess foreskin off the way top of the fat has a little bit of a what would you say, like a, like a weird, like its own little texture, like a little screen, like a vent screen, right? So you kind of want to get rid of all that shit. And then, we're going to clean up the ends of our, our lamb meat. I'm going to wash the hands. What? Are you kidding me? Maxi coming through with another 500 bits? You guys are out of this world. Thank you guys. Get some emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. So I think I'm gonna try a trick that I used to do. Let's see if it still works. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and see if it works, guys. Basically we're gonna take some uh, some butcher twine and we're gonna try I'm gonna wrap it around the leg and try to kind of pull the the skin of the bone off with it. See if it works. I haven't done this forever. Oh yeah, it's kind of working. So you take this string, right, and you tie it and you pull it, and then it releases and kind of rips off that film. So it makes it a thousand times easier to kind of clean off the bones. Because there's all this skin and fat, and that's not very presentable. So, use your butcher twine. Um, and use that as a nice little trick on how to kind of flip it. Another, another biddies? Are you guys crazy right now? Why y'all dropping all these bits, man? Holy cow, ain't nothing but a biddy party. Thank you guys so much. What the hell? Al coming in with 1500 and Maxi too. You guys are crazy. Thanks guys. I appreciate that. It's insane. You guys are nuts. All right. Okay. We got three more. Sorry, this is a little bit uh, a little bit boring, but you got to kind of see how to do it anyways. Nice tight knot, and then it's going to kind of pull down, and you can see it ripping right there. Perfect, right? So now we got all that release, so all we're going to do is kind of pull that off with a knife after. Nice and easy release. Nate D.O. Dub coming with 300. Name change is not coming up as an option. Yeah, awkward. Did she just get married? Like, S. Hollinger, huh? All right, second to last one. That was nice and easy, good, good. 
All right, last one, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the paring knife, and we're gonna use the paring knife to uh, pull the rest of this, this skin off, off the bone. Okay, perfect. Taking that off. Wash the hands off real quick. Gotta stay sanitary, right guys? Super, super important. Uh-oh. Alex is ready to play a little bit of Where's Waldo. Yes, it is, my friend. Why don't we bounce on over to that bottle, huh? Alex, I, I see what you're doing here. Thank you for all the biddies, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. All you newcomers that are uh, kind of popping in the stream right now, appreciate y'all being here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We've already had a total of, what, 3,300 uh, bits tonight. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Woo! Wow. I've never had Jameson with Yellow Red Bull. That was actually incredible. That was actually really, really good. I'm going to wash this off real quick just so I have it ready to rock. I don't have to stop what I'm doing and clean it back up. Always stay sanitary, guys. When you're working with raw protein, whatever it is, wash in between everything. Super important. All right, guys. Back to it. So now we had our cleaned off. So you just take a, a little paring knife, something sharp, right? and just kind of grind off the rest. We're going to work down the bone, clean it up a little bit for presentation purposes. Flip it over, make sure you got all it all. Because it is a full, it's a full skin. It's like a condom rather. All right, so we're going to clean that off. Go down. Whatever direction you got to go, go. Flip it. Tropical Red Bull is top tier. That it is. From the day I tried it, I was like, this is absolutely 120% the best energy drink I've ever had in my life. Try not to drink them that much, but there are some days where it is an absolute necessity. Alright. You know, if you got to use your hands and get a little bit dirty, do it. If you're, if you're presenting the, the lamb to somebody, which I'm presenting it to you guys, and I also just want to make sure it looks great in general, even if I was cooking for myself. Um, these are the steps it takes. It takes, you know, some of the the prep work job type shit that you got to do sometimes to make things look good. But it's worth it in the end, you'll see. This is the type of shit your head chef has has the prep to do, not the <laughs> not the cooks. This is what they're doing behind the scenes, cleaning up all this shit. So when it gets on the line. It's ready to rock. You don't got time to do this shit. Okay. Just about there, guys. Last two. What's up, Daisy? Wanna say hi? Come here. Come back here. Oh wait, here let me switch cameras. Come here. Over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. See her? Say hi. Have fun. Oh girl. Here's a little daisy cam for you guys. I forgot that she can go back there. Someone told me one episode she went behind me and I literally had no idea that entire time that she was even there until someone told me. 
Then I went back and watched it and was like, holy shit, Daisy was there the entire time. And then as I turned, she like neared me the other way and walked around, so I like literally did not see her at all. All right, so now I'm just gonna trim off that excess. You can see that film right here too that I'm talking about. It kind of connects to what we're peeling off. So just scrape it down and you, you can see how it's kind of pulling off. Look at that, see that? If I get my finger under, that's, you don't want that. That's what we're taking off. It exposes the bones so much more too. Makes it look so much better. Use your knife to pull it down, and you'll see the release. Okay. Pull it off. I do not want to tell you guys what this raw rack of lamb smells like right now. It's not okay. <laughs> and use your imagination if you do, if you will. Hi, oi, my man. Yeah, man. Get that internet going, brother. Thank you so much for stopping by. My man. Everyone, welcome Highway back. You guys always grinding away with school and whatnot. It's a long time supporter from games to the cooking stream. My man. Everyone, welcome Highway back. Some Cousin Drew emotes from my man. You guys are extremely generous tonight. Thank you. Wash the ham. We're going to go ahead and just do the basic seasoning on this. We're going to mark it off. Get a little color on it. Check on our squash. Get our tomatoes chopped. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. Some hot ass water though. Sanitation, baby, let's go. I need to start buying gloves again. I think I used to do that at the beginning. All right, so we just lightly seasoned it, right? We're gonna go ahead and grab a uh, pan to get that started. Got a pan heating up. I'm gonna drop that baby down. Get it going shortly. All right, next, let's go ahead, let's peek, a, peek at our squash. Doing its thing, looking delicious. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, we can get our Brussels going. Let's get a little water cracking for these. We gotta slice them up and clean them up before we boil them. Anyways, I did the organic baby ones, uh, mainly because I, um, the ones that I handpick normally that I've used in the past are like huge ass Brussels. These, for plating purposes, I want smaller, um, and these were like the perfect size, so that's why I chose the baby organics tonight. Alright, salt our water. Clean up our Brussels. Hands heating up. We're gonna get ready to drop those in a second. 
So I'm gonna hand pick my uh, my Brussels right now because I want them all pretty much the same size. That's a little bit too small. I want them all. They're gonna be halved, so. It's where the OCD kicks in. <laughs> We'll use all those leftovers work so to clean up the brussel bottom off slice down the middle let's go ahead and check in on our pot nice and hot baby and hit it with that hot olive oil tablespoon and a half or so do you ever add truffle oil to your Brussels sprouts? I never have. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge, huge fan of um, truffles. I, I like the taste in very small amounts, but it's a uh, it's a very like an acquired taste, and like I said, I'm not I'm not super fond of it. So I'm kind of picky with what I have it in. Had a really good uh, truffle risotto that I enjoyed. Um, culinary school we've messed around with them a little bit but just yeah like I said not not me wouldn't rec like go out of my way for it and they are a little bit expensive truffles are a pretty cool thing I mean I definitely got I love I, I love them as an ingredient and in cooking and everything I'm just like I said it's not my taste but I mean people that have truffle dogs it's crazy man those dogs make some money for them they stopped using pigs because the pigs would eat eat the truffles so they started using dogs um, so they would dig them up but not eat them. Kobe! Drop that down. Wash the hands up real quick. We'll let you guys kind of look at that. I'm going to kind of rinse this pan, this pan out real quick with all the raw the raw lamb on it. Just so everything's kind of sanitary in my workstation. Always, always stay as sanitary as possible. So the lamb, we just want to get a nice little bit of color, kind of concentrate that fat, cook it down, caramelize it up a little bit. That's all we're trying to look for here. Nothing crazy, it's not going to be on there too, too long. And we're also gauging, um, the temperature right now, so. I'm gonna kinda get an idea of how hot my pan is, what I need to change, based off the look. All right, looking good. Add a little pepper. Salt, a little garlic powder. Okay. Hop, hop back to our Brussels. It's okay, baby. You need to bark, baby. with our Brussels, all nice and uniform, cleaned up. It's okay when those outer leaves kind of fall off, right? So we got, let them kind of fall, just discard of them. <laughs> Daisy, I'll easily ban you, I love it. Hey, Ryan, what are we looking like score-wise on the game, huh? Starting to get a little bit of brown. That's heating up for our uh, our blanche on our Brussels. Let's go ahead and grab our tomatoes, and then we can get our kale kind of prep ready too. We're gonna be working with all kinds of herbs tonight. 
I was working with a couple herbs myself before the scram. He appealed me. Alright, let's push our Brussels off to the side. Got some nice fresh aroma. I like the aromas for this. So, we're getting some nice caramelization happening here, right? So you gotta make sure you have a little bit of fat in the pan to kind of coat the entire uh, the entire fat cap. Twenty-four three, thank you, thank you. Just get a little bit of a breeze in here. Check my squash. doing its thing. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice, take one off the side, and I want them pretty thick. I'm gonna use that top, I'm just gonna lightly take that off. So there we got three nice chunk tomatoes. Find a nice flat spot. Peel off one end, slice, nice and thick. Fillet that other side. Okay, we're just gonna do them all for the hell of it. Why we want them thick is because they're going to cook. We want them to get enough time roasting um, that they're going to absorb all the garlic and the oils from the herbs releasing and everything. So it's super important that they're in there for a good amount of time. Oh yeah, look at that caramelization, baby. And if they were in there and um, they were in there they were thinly sliced, then we would basically have tomatoes that turn into straight mush. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop the Brussels, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let me go back. We're going to go ahead and blanch those off. You can see already the color change. Um, pretty nice. Next Monday night, baby? Oh, you know it. We're wearing the, the jersey for the stream. You already know that, baby. No chef coat next week. Niner gang. Gang, gang, gang. All right, now this is a fun little trick, guys. My sous chef taught me. Um, to get some oil infused, or get some really good flavor infused into the, into the tomatoes. So we would do wanna definitely get some oil on the bottom, okay? One sec, I'm gonna take another peek. I just don't want these to get too much color. Oh yeah, I mean, that's looking, looking prime, baby. All right, so oil's down. We're gonna take take some garlic, okay? Get some bigger cloves. We're gonna give them a smash. We did this last stream for our basting. Those of you guys that were here, okay? Nice crush to our garlic. Using you all, come out. There we go. One by one. Okay. We got a lot of garlic. 
We're going to scatter it all amongst our tray. Okay. Caden having lamb chops tonight. You know he'll get a little bite. Oh, look who changed her name. She's a big girl. Look at that color, guys. I mean, does it get much better than that? On everything? How's the, how's the light? Does that make it worse? Mark off our other side a little bit. Those are will be done. I'm gonna check my Brussels out real quick. Get an idea. They're, they're little, they're not gonna take too long. A little bit more time there. All right, so, watch very closely. I think I got some more herbs in there too. Take some fresh rosemary. Peel off some stems of it. Kind of lay it around our tray. Grab some fresh thyme. Okay. Let me go grab the rest of the herbs from the fridge that wasn't included. We're on like the last day. Um, so we're going to take some fresh sage. We're like right at the end of our sage. Worked out perfect. We're going to be using it last Thursday, so it would have been fine, but looks like we're right down at the end. Life of this, this bunch. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and take a little bit more oil here. Hey, my boy Dre Dre. Brackalackin' cousin. You want to oil up the herbs because we want them to roast and toast. We want all them oils to release. Take our tomatoes. Gang. 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 We'll lather those suckers up. Those mother suckers. We'll keep our lamb. All right, this baby's ready to get thrown in the oven. Heat off. What I had two big racks. Oh, I did, I cleaned it. All right. Grab our other big rack. What's going on, Dre Dre? How's your new crib, cousin? Pictures look sick. Crashing on the couch or what? Or EO. When you throw it in the oven, guys, fat cap up, so it, it all, um, fat cap up, so all the fat cooks down and in to the rack. Ugh. I'll take these babies out, we'll give them a little toss, Let's see where we're at. Those Brussels are probably about done too. Oh yeah, these are like pretty much done. We'll give them a little extra um, so they can, you know, not, not, so there's absolutely no chunks when it comes time to roasting. I'm gonna kind of flip them around. All right, pull them over for you guys. They're nice and roasty, okay? 
We're going to pop those back in for about three more minutes. Let's check our Brussels. Look about done. It's freaking hot. Burning under some cold water. Yeah, they're done. All right. Where's my strainer? Oh. All right, we're going to strain out our Brussels. Let the liquid kind of run out of it, let it drain. Call and Scaper, what's going on? Them ribs looking good? Oh, we got lamb chops tonight, my man. Uh, everyone go ahead and welcome uh, Call and Scaper. I'm gonna call you Call. Welcome Call into the chat. What's going on, my man? Thank you so much for stopping by. Is Vincent at Sammy's or a whole five? <laughs> oh my God. All right, we're gonna salt our tomatoes. some more pepper after the stream. All right, our little last bits of this batch. All right, so when we rest our rack of lamb, we'll probably go ahead and pop these babies in. A um, little garlic powder. Alright, so these are going to roast off and look absolutely delicious. Set those to the side. We're going to get our puree started very shortly. Yeah. Wipe down my work area. Um, we need to get shallot chopped, garlic chopped, Kale prepped. Um, these can go back. Herbs chopped. Got everything I need. Let's get that kale ready. Get it, we'll put it in a bowl. Put it in a bowl off to the side. I don't know if you guys have ever worked with. Um, with red kale before, it's pretty badass. Um, we'll get stock warmed up. So we get some stock warmed up for our uh, for our braise. Oh, I'm gonna use a different pan so wait for that. We'll get that chilling. Um, let's go ahead. Get our kale ready. We're gonna take those, those sweet potatoes out and let them cool in a second. Pop them out real quick. All right. We do need to get a temp reading on that lamb. So um, someone remind me if I don't do it already in a little bit. take our kale and we pretty much want to go ahead and just chop it into little bunches it's gonna shrivel up a lot on us when we cook it so we can leave it decent sized but you do want to give it a little bit of a chop just work it off the stems like that so these are gonna shrivel up a lot. They're gonna they're gonna really kind of soak up the liquid and, and shrink up. So leave them 
Leave them bunched up a little bit. Perfect. Wash this off. Welcome, welcome everybody that's new in the chat. Thank you guys for stopping by tonight. It's a pleasure. Uh, dish is going to look amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, we get those sweet potatoes about to get the puree going, our sweet potato, butternut squash. Let's go ahead and um, talk about our subscriber giveaway. So um, next, a week from today on Monday, we are going to have a prize picked out. Kaylee and I are going to go get, um, and if you're subscribing to the channel, which there's 32 of us, um, we're going to have a random giveaway. Um, this one is no competition. It's straight up just going to be a random ticker and whoever wins wins but you got to be a sub to the channel so if you do want to get involved if you've got a twitch prime whatever you want to do you're enjoying the channel no pressure at all but you do got to be subscribed at the end and uh, we're going to do a little giveaway we'll send you your prize it'll be some sort of kitchen gadget you know what i mean it's gonna be cool um all right so let's get our puree cracking russell's are chilling chilling like a villain they're gonna cool off kale we're gonna get started in a bit um, we got a temp reading on our lamb, but let's go ahead and knock this uh, puree out. We'll knock it out, we'll have it chilling, we'll reheat before plate up. Be all good. Not sure what that plug is. Hopefully it's nothing for the stream. Chat, y'all quiet. What's going on, huh? Where y'all at? Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Jammin! What's up, baby? My man Jammin. You leveling? Alright. We especially want the roasty pieces with seasoning. Those are the ones we're really looking for. All right, I'm not gonna roast them all because I want to leave some leftovers for, you know, so have a nice little bit of leftovers for later. All right, so sweet potatoes are in. We're gonna grab some cream. Heavy cream that is. Hit it with a little heavy cream. We're gonna go ahead and pulse it, see what happens. See what see how it's gonna initially come out before we tweak it at all. Remember always throw a towel over. Looks like it's gonna be a, need, needing a lot more liquid. So I like to kind of press everything down to the bottom, get it ready. We're going to hit it with some more cream. A little bit of broth, add a little flavor to it. starting to mush up so I just want to dispute see what's going on here so it's still thick but it is pulsing so we are gonna add a little more liquid to get it to exactly where we want a little more broth obviously cream we do need to check those uh, lamb chops I'm gonna pull those out in a sec Pittsburgh 27, Cincy 3. Man, Pittsburgh shitting on them. Are you doing dessert tonight? I missed the menu part. No, Dilly. Just the, uh, just the lamb chop dish, baby. We'll be doing dessert soon. Alright. 
definitely made more progress. Still thick, a little thicker than we're looking. Smells so good though. Let's pull our chops out. Get an idea of an internal. Cause we need to crust these up with yogurt. Woo, that's hot. Put you over here. Yeah, Dilly, just just gonna be the the dish tonight, my man. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water. Add some salt. Garlic powder, a little more cumin. Yeah, dessert soon enough, man. Not right now. Now ain't the time. Add a teensy bit of hot water. Now let's smooth this out. Give it a little bit of a. There we go. This is gonna be like exact consistency we're looking for after this. Yeah. Flavor wise, delicious, more salt. A little more salt. A little <clears throat> a little tap of cinnamon. Maybe a little more garlic. And then a teensy bit more cream and that's it. That's money right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's um, exclamation recipe, right? space. We got herbs to chop for our crusting, garlic, shallot, um, and then we should be caught up. So we're gonna get a little bit chopping going. We're gonna keep this over here. We're gonna reheat that um, right before we plate up. You know what I mean? Caden's down. All right, all right, all right. I can finally watch. There's my girl. Good job, baby. Kid freaking fights his sleep like no other. All right, so let's start with, uh, let's get our shallot and garlic done and then we'll go ahead and work on our herbs. So the shallot, I'm gonna do just a slice because I want it to kind of complement being long and stringy 
with the uh, the kale. So we're just gonna have it and then just do a nice little slice. Take that outer skin off. I got little baby shallots, right? Really cool, kind of themed, sticking with the uh, the small Brussels, small shallot. No chops for Caden. Maybe he'll have a little leftover. He'll be up in no time. <laughs> All right. Okay. I love me some shallot. Here. Cut the little root off. Free up my, my shallot. Perfect. Yeah, let's do more. Let's do another one. They're going to cook down quite a bit. Just when you think you have enough. They're just gonna blend and disappear in the in the kale. So make sure you got plenty of shallot if you're gonna go ahead and try this recipe out. I'll do two full baby shallots. We're gonna go from there. Way to jinx it. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Jenny24 and Dine Wild, thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate it extremely, extremely. Super, super nice of you guys to do that. Thank you for being here. Everyone in chat, throw some Cousin Drew emotes out there for our new followers, new friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shallots sliced up. Garlic, we'll do a nice little rough mince. We'll let the, let the braise, you know, kind of tenderize it. Still want to have a nice little clunk in there when you're when you're there, just not too big. Gotta be a little bit consistent. So let's do like uh, start with four cloves. See how that's going. Drop the memotes, baby. Let's go. together that uh, lamb's got a little bit of cooking to do we're gonna coat it up after we chop our herbs um, it's gonna be awesome if you guys have never had something like that before you definitely gotta try it it's delicious we got some fresh mint we're gonna throw in there um, mint with lamb is like peanut butter with jelly let me tell you meant to be together up the hands a little bit. Game over Pittsburgh wins. Kind of figured they would, to be honest. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking good, looking good. Let's get our herbs chopped. So we got some fresh mint leaves. We got, um, we're gonna take a little bit of our sage we got to pick some good strands out of this. I think I just found some. None of the, none of the ones that are turning on us. Apocalyptic ones. All right. And then we got our thyme. A little parsley in the fridge, too. We're not going to use the rosemary here. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll use a little. 
Okay. Might as well use a little bit of rosemary here too. And then some parsley. We got a little bit of parsley. Pretty much at the end of this bunch too. But just a nice little blend of fresh herbs, you know what I mean? You want all the herbs to kind of play their own part. Kind of chop them all together too. Just make sure you get all the tops and stems out. Oh, the mint. Yum. I used to grow mint in the front yard of my old place. Until the rabbits ate it all. Bastards. Love me some garlic? Absolutely, mama. Alright. We're getting our sprigs of thyme in there. Just kind of pulling it off the stems. Sorry, guys. I thought I was on my other camera. Take some rosemary. I guess we'll do one or two strands there. Rosemary's got thick stems, so make sure you pull those off. The root ends of it tend to be a little bit, little bit on the bitter side. Where'd Alyssa go? Is she working? What's going on? Where's my sissy at? All right, so we got our herbs. Throw a little bit more mint. I want the mint to really stand out in this. Nate, where's Liss at? You guys playing battleships again or what? Alright. We're going to mince all our herbs, just a nice blend together. Here we want to get pretty pretty minced. We want to make sure it's uh, nice and chopped up here. We don't want to have any over excessively large bits. It's just kind of not really look that good on the on the chops. So what would happen if you put the yogurt crusting like from the beginning in the oven? is it would probably kind of burn on you, all the herbs and everything. So that's why we're going to go ahead and add them later as the lamb's kind of coming towards the end of the cooking process. Um, so that way it, stay, it stays fresh, but it still adds, you know, it still does the job of penetrating the meat and, and getting that flavor in there. That's, that's what's important. So we got our herbs nice and shot. My mom said, Kaylee, Brianne, hashtag lucky lady gets to eat all this. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna check that lamb temp. I just feel like it's gonna turn, turn pretty soon and I don't wanna miss my window. little bit of reading here. All right, we've made lots of progress. It's absolutely time to crust our lamb, ladies and gentlemen. Get our tomatoes in ASAP right now. We are gonna um, get our braised bracken and Brussels saute. We got, we got a lot going on. You know, that's a lot of kale. I think I'm gonna need a larger pan. So I'm gonna bust out the large nonstick. Brussels. All right, I'm gonna do these 
on the opposite side, and then I'll I'll bring them over for you guys to see. Man, the way this thing's laid out kind of bugs me the stove top here, but it's all good. Brussels are perfect. I have those just chilling. All right, let's get this uh, lamb crusted. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just move my cutting board at the moment. This is where it's gonna get fun. Look at that color. Beautiful gold crust right there. Look at that. Everyone likes themselves a nice rack. Right, babe? <laughs> Right, babe. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's plastic. I'm like, yeah, so I bought an expired yogurt. <laughs> All right. This is just some plain, non-GMO yogurt. Let's see if I can brush it on. I don't know if that'll work, but oh, it does. Neat. Okay, we're gonna brush on our gogurt. You guys, remember gogurt? Shit was dank. All right. So we want to get a nice coating here, because we need our herbs to stick to it. You know what I mean? So it's important that. Wherever the herbs is gonna be, which is on the whole rack, you gotta have yogurt to, to keep it sticking. Okay. Let me get the other side. A little bit more. Make sure all my Spots are done. Looking good. Oh, backside. All the way at the bottom. Alright, we good. Um, I guess I could give you a little love down here. a couple more spots hold on there with me there we go all right we're looking good we're looking good about to use trick yogurt <laughs> oh all about trick yogurt i like tricks too yo oh, all right i got my pans both on extremely hot I got their even left on i'm gonna turn those off let them let them cool um, all right, so now what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get our fresh herb. I'm going to scrape those, my bench scraper, onto a little plate. One sec, guys. About there. All right, we got our fresh herb. Nice blend, right? You can use Dijon mustard when you do this too, but I mean the yogurt with the mint though, kind of meant to be. So, wanna pretty much completely cover this lamb and our herb crust point here. Okay. 
the smell of the herbs guys is so fresh you obviously get that mint and rosemary probably more than absolutely any of them because they're so strong it was meant to be you're right nate that was so punny mod can someone kick nate for 60 seconds please oh, i'm just kidding i'm just kidding god damn it nate trying to steal my thunder here you damn jokester all right so look at that crusted up lamb chop we're gonna pop this baby in we're gonna finish it off cutting board back we got a couple things we got to do here you guys to get our braised brazen our front, that's cooled down that's still hot as a mother father let's drop some oil in those bad boys Hey, my man Jason coming through with the host with nine other fellas. Dash ladies. Dash gender neutrals. He, she, theirs, what, ifs, whatever the hell y'all is. Thank you so much for the host, my man. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jason, my man, thank you so much for the host, my dude. Appreciate it. Never seen a yogurt crusted one. Now I want to try well, Dylan, if you just get your ass up here, you know what I mean? Maybe uh, Daddy could cook for you, but, you know, you don't. All right, I'm dropping my shallot. Your, uh, garlic's after. We're going to cook that shallot down just a tad bit. Shallot's in. Brussels are going in. So the thing with the Brussels, guys, I want color on one side. So I'm strictly going white face side down, and I'm planning on only cooking them that side down. The entire saute. I gotta add some salt into my shallot in just a moment. So we're going for our, uh, our plate look right now. That's what we want want our perfect gold crusts on the bottom. You gotta have fat, and you gotta kind of start low and work up medium and get, get to that high, but don't go too high because you'll burn them. You'll get a little black outline, you don't want that. You want that gold brown, baby, that GBD. Appreciate it, my man. You the, you, you the shiz. Everyone get some Cousin Drew emotes in chat right now for Jason. Coming through with the hostess. Hostess with the mostess. Shallots already caramelizing up good. I'm gonna throw that garlic in momentarily. Hit it with some salt. Brussels, we got them on like a medium low right now. I'm gonna drop a tiny bit more oil. So I know they're all getting touched. Like Neverland Ranch. Hit it with that salt. Pat. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Starting to really smell incredible in here. Huh, babe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone's got me on the big screen, huh? Keep an eye on our Brussels. 
You want them to keep that thing up. I do need to wash this pot though for our puree. I need to use it to reheat. Alright guys, we are almost there. Lamb, we're going to be pulling out for a nice mid-rare. That should be popping out very shortly. Our tomatoes, we want those to roast up. Get a little tenderness. We're going to toss our garlic in to our shallot mixture for our braise. Want that to cook down with the shallot now. I always add it in last because garlic cooks up a lot quicker. Get those babies cooking. GBB, golden brown baby. We're gonna get this kale thrown in in a bit with our stock. Probably could use this to warm my stock up real quick as well. Let's get the whole uh, the whole stove top going. All right guys, so gray or white plate tonight? Pretty sure we've done gray pretty much every stream. Do you think it's ready color-wise to do it with the white? I think they, they will pop out really nicely. What are you guys thinking? Get our broth heated up. What you guys thinking? Check our tomatoes. Oh yeah. These tomatoes, though, mate. Look at that. What the hook gonna be? Uh oh. We're getting a beautiful. All the herbs and oils, uh, oils and are coming out of the herbs and the garlic, leaking into our tomatoes right now. Oh my gosh. If you guys could smell this right now, I'm telling you. Those are just about done. We're gonna give them another couple minutes. Our rack of lamb is coming along nicely. I'm going to check the temp. Woo! I think that uh, oven mitt got a little too wet because it is hot as a mother. We're going to get a new one. All right. Where did I put my little, uh, my little gauge? Oh. Brought it back over here. All right, we're going straight into the center here. Corpius, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. White, 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 go with the change up. All right, we're going white plate tonight. Everyone welcome in Corpius. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. All right, lamb is ready to rest, guys. Our yogurt crusted lamb. We're going to let that rest for a little while. Let the juices disperse throughout the meat. Uh, 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 that room. Let's go right here. Let's leave it here. I can work around it. Okay. Our garlic and shallot is nice and crispy gold. Looking perfect. We're going to go ahead, drop in our, our red, red kale. Oh, we got the smoke alarm going off. We're going to saute that down a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and check on over on our Brussels, see if our heat's looking right, what we're looking for here. Oh yeah, getting nice and golden brown. Yep. Exactly what we want, guys. Right, turning that on lower heat.
If you guys can hear that, I'm sorry about that. Kaylee's taking care of it right now. Alright, so I'm going to kind of saute in and fold in the kale before we get our broth thrown in there as it warms up. It's just about there. But I want to kind of toss the garlic and shallot, you know, throughout. Kind of let it start sauteing up. Good to kind of cook it, cook up the leaves before you ladle in anything. All right, let's get our um, puree thrown in on a low flame. Nice velvety puree. What is that alarm going off still? Jeez Louise. You gotta hit it with the pillow, baby. Yeah, you need that. Jeez. Tomatoes. Perfectly cooked. Perfect, 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 perfect. Even Drew's alarms know that the food's fire. <laughs> I love it. Caden's gonna wake up and it's driving Nala nuts. Oh, Shibby Five, missed the cooking streams, bruh. Welcome back, Shibby. What's going on, man? Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming by. Look at that. What's going on, Shibby? Everyone, welcome in, Shibby. Let's get some cousin Drew emotes and chat. All right, this is all sauteed up. We're gonna go ahead and add our stock in. nice hot stock in there. We're going to let that braise. I'm going to turn the fan on one more step higher, guys. Sorry if it's a little loud, but I don't know what's going on. We've never had that issue upstairs before. What, baby? Oh, in his room? Oh, he shut the door. That's gonna cook up. Looking good, we're gonna let that absorb all that liquid out. A little salt. Now our, our Brussels are looking perfectly golden for our plate up. We got them on a low flame, kind of carrying over, holding its heat. Puree's warming up. Puree's looking good. It's a nice body to it. Let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. We're getting there. Chops or a uh, rack of lamb is resting up good. We're gonna just let it go. The more rest it gets, the better. All the herb. Let's go. So we're doing white plates tonight. Yes. puree a little bit. Since 
since it was sitting, I'm going to fold a little cream in there. Yeah, okay, loosen it back up a little bit as it's tightened up. Just a little bit more cream. Give us our, our body we were looking for back. There we go. We're going to let that warm up. Brussels are good. Our braise is coming along nicely. It's eating up all that all that broth. We're gonna let that rest a little bit longer. We're gonna go ahead and plate up, guys. Just about there. start putting some stuff away. We've got our station all cleaned up. Alright, bend some low again. Got way less going on over here. We're going to turn the oven off. slice these chops up in a minute. This is some good shit. Oh yeah, baby, you know what it is. Everyone that's uh, stopping back for the first time today, appreciate y'all being here. I'm gonna go over it one more time since we got some more people in the chat. Uh, subscriber only giveaway a week from today, Monday. Um, some sort of kitchen item for you guys. Oh, there's the girl, here. Come here, come here, right here, right here, come here. Sight, bro. Here, go, go. Come on, go. One more treat. Yeah, come on. Over here. Come here. Come right here. Jason. Come right here. High five. Come here. High five. <laughs> she feels all cornered. All right. All of our moisture is almost done coming along super nicely. Yeah, we gotta get some deep daisy emotes. We, we got room for two more tier emotes for sub two, uh, sub two t uh, tier two subs and tier three subs. We got extra emote slots, so maybe we'll, uh, we'll get that cracking soon. All right, so I'm gonna release a little bit of that extra water. And we're gonna let the rest cook in because we're just about there. Looks perfect. Garlic powder. One more salt. Pep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw our tomatoes that are done in the oven to stay warm. This oven's off. Great. Brussels are perfect. All right, guys, let's go ahead and slice our lamb up. We're gonna take our rack. We're gonna throw it down on this cutting board. I mean, just the, the smells, the aroma coming off of this. Absolutely incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. All right, so we're going to chop, chop, chop. Nate, thank you for the 300 biddies, man. I appreciate that. Alex, Max, thank you guys so much for the bits tonight. You guys rock. All right, I'm gonna real quick peek over to my braise. That's done. Draining all excess liquid, just real quick. Not that much, it's about a tablespoon, so just want it out. We're gonna let that sit. 
All right, so let's chop, chop, chop. So we got our lamb chop rack, right? Looking good. Perfect mid rare in the center. Just give me a sec. Perfect mid rare. Flawless mid rare. Mm -mm -mm. So tender and juicy, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it is so tender, each one of these chops. Not okay. A little bit of a cartilage you gotta kind of cut around when you're slicing into your chops, when you go down. Just some fatty chops, man. I mean, these are huge. I think the last time I had lamb, they were like half the size, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at that mid rare dough. Where are we at, guys? Where are we at? We're about to play it up. Come on. Where are y'all at? Let's get some hype in the chat. Come on. Where my hype girl at? All right, we're ready to rock, guys. Ready to rock and roll. I don't want these to get overly warm. All right. I do want to get a, and I have no idea where my phone is. I wanted to do a picture of uh, the chops. I'm gonna leave it on the cutting board for you guys for a sec. And I'm going to go ahead and come back in just a second. Let me go look for my phone. We got it, we got it. I want to get a picture of that for the, the socials. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. Starving wish my girlfriend cooked me dinner tonight. Yeah, those look amazing. Holy shit. Thank you. All right, guys. We got all our ingredients. Let's go ahead and build, build, build. Bob the Builder. Uh-oh. We got a grumpy mama. A waking up baby. I didn't do it. Hi. Oh, come here. Can I say hi one more time? Oh, we got a woken up baby, everybody. You see the lamb? Baby, look. Step looking grumpy. Sorry I woke you up with the with the noise. You, you shy? <laughs> you smile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to play up. <laughs> Oh, the new chef, it sure is. What's up, 69 Tipsy? My man. <laughs> High five? High fives? Knuckles. Knuckles? Knuckles. 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 All right, Mama, we got a plate up. Here we go, buddy. Mama's gonna get our dish. Nice. 
<laughs> All right. Move in the board so we can plate up. We're going to put our plates down. All right, guys, this is what I got envisioned. Grab my puree. Give it one last mix. Nice and hot. We gotta get a plating spoon, which I got somewhere in here. There we go. By plating spoon, I mean look at the bottom, see how it's chipped off, it's so you can drag. So handsome, those cheeks, dad, mom is over there. <laughs> right? All right, guys, let's plate up. What I'm thinking. Let's get some cousin Drew emotes in chat, ladies and gentlemen, for this plate up. Huh? Let's go. Rocking and rolling, people. Headbutt Papa. <laughs> All right. This is what I have envisioned. We're going to grab our tomatoes. Hi, big boy. You watching, Daddy? All right. So how I have this pictured... I mean, seriously though, guys, these chops are fire, fire, fire. Chop, tomato, chop. And then we're going to take our delicious braise, red kale with shallot and garlic, garlic. that out. Kind of wrap it around our puree. Right. And then we got our, uh, our Brussels. Nice golden brown Brussels. That we want to strategically place amongst our dish. So we got some with the GBD showing, that golden brown deliciousness. And then we can go ahead and switch it up and leave some flipped over and get that nice neon green kind of peeking through. You know what I mean? Sneak another one in there. Small one, there we go. Perfect. I've never drooled once and we may need flood control here. <laughs> uh, we're frozen. It's not us. I'm not dro I haven't dropped a single frame this entire stream, so it's not it's not on my end. I would refresh, refresh. That ain't me. It wasn't me. All right, we're gonna do the second plateau for y'all. There's un, plateau un. I said that, baby. 
get all our oil off the plate. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and place our, what I did is I double stacked the tomatoes behind it, the first one, so it gives it a little bit of a, a body to hold it up, you know what I mean? Bodied by a singing pitta. You talking, bud? Daddy hears ya. Daddy hears you. How, how's it looking, ladies and gentlemen? Where, where's my feedback here? Where my peeps at? Come on, y'all. Let's go. 69's over here, here, drooling. Making uh, making me happy as can be. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying. Got to grab my kale, kind of already laid out, so it doesn't go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, a happy baby over there. One happy boy. He got his cat nap, his his nighttime cat nap, and then now he's. Kind of scrape some of that shallot out. I like that thrown on top a little bit. Add that extra contrast. Okay. Right? That GBD though, Nate. That's what that's what cooking's about right there. GBD baby. Tighten up. Let's lace those brussels down, peeps. Bust down, Kate and Yana. smaller brussels back in this bit. Okay. We're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. That looks great, huh? I'm gonna snap some pictures here with the light that I got on this side, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to the plating area for you guys. Un momento, por fa. Ugh! Snap a good pick here. Oh. All right, guys, let's move on to our plating area. Get this all adjusted for you guys. Nice fall dish for you guys. Uh, I need to like lay tape down so I know where the heck this goes every time. There we go. Yeah, buddy, rolling like a big shot. Let's get our lights down on it. Light down on it. Light down on it. Taking a little couple more pictures of myself.
Not happy for the socials. Heck yes, ladies and gentlemen, we did it, we did it, we did it. We have officially finished our plate for the night, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We have our herb crusted lamb chop perfect mid rare with our herb garlic infused tomatoes, beautiful uh, braise of red kale, roasted Brussels sprouts, um, and of course our butternut squash puree. I'm thinking everything just came out absolutely perfect tonight. Um, thank you so much for sticking around guys. I appreciate it. Plate came out absolutely phenomenal. I couldn't be any happier. Um, thank you so much for being here, guys. Um, let's go ahead and go over all of our uh, thank yous for tonight. Eddie's going to pop these in the oven. Keep them warm. Let's go over everything. We have some action tonight. Um, all right, so... Maxi, thank you for the resub. Um, Ian, thank you for the resub. Two months. Max, Alex, um, Nate, thank you so much for the biddies tonight. You guys are absolutely ridiculous. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate it. Dying the Wild, Jenny. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. We got a raid going on here. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Let me go ahead and pull those plates right out. Right out, right out. Holy cow. Thank you guys for coming by. We just finished up our plate up. I'm gonna pop my food on over to the other screen for you guys. Um, we just finished, so let me go ahead and plate up. We're gonna go over to our uh, brother's shop. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we did a, um, a, a nice fall dish for you guys. We have our butternut squash puree with our herb crusted herb yogurt crusted lamb chop with roasted herb garlic infused tomato in between um, a braised saute of uh, red kale with shallot and garlic and then our sauteed um, golden brown brussels sprouts ladies and gentlemen um, thank you so much for coming by um, absolutely ridiculous coming through miss molly makes thank you so much for coming by um, thank you so much welcome everybody welcome 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 can't thank you enough. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the new follows. We'll go, go over them all again. Uncle Stinky, what's going on? Welcome back, man. Oh yeah, you guys ready to see the baby? Bring my mans over here. All right, guys, here's little man, the little chef himself. Say hi, Kaden. Say hello. Welcome, everybody. It's a family stream, nothing but friends and family. Um, if you guys enjoy what you're seeing, I know you guys came at the end. Go ahead and give a follow. We're here every Monday and Wednesday night. Um, check out www.cousindrewscookingshow.com. Um, my Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all Cousin Drew 1239. Season 1, we got 50 episodes on there for you guys. Season 2, this is episode 4. Uh, thank you much, so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. He's a cutie. He sure is. My little man's is teething. Huh. Oh, big boy. So, yeah, that's what we're going on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the food for you guys. Big boy. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, here's our dish. I wish you guys were here during the whole process. We start at 7 p.m. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we had some good, good food here going on tonight. Thank you, Molly. I appreciate it. I hope you had an amazing stream. Those poor baby lambs, well, bread to eat, baby, bread to eat. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Holy cow. I hope you had an amazing stream, Molly. I love to eat lamb, as do I, Aladdin's girl. My no pause. Um, we had a bunch of new follows. Let's go over them. Gosh, you guys came in hot right at the end. So, Miss Molly coming through with a 60-person um, raid. We appreciate it. Uh, Cadmus5, thank you for the follow. Us Firefly, thank you for the follow. Uh, Jula Cal. Jay Frick and Daniel Orr Gamer, thank you guys so much for the follow. I appreciate you guys being here. 
Um, absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, like I said, Monday and Wednesday, we'll be back here this Wednesday. Guys, um, like I said, I know you hopped in at the end. I'm going to go over one more time for all you new folks. A uh, week from today, if you have a chance to stop by, we are doing a subscriber-only giveaway, um, some sort of kitchen item. I'm not going to name it yet. We have to go pick it out. But um, we will be doing a subscriber-only giveaway. So if you like the content, you enjoy your time, you got a Twitch Prime and you want to jump into the giveaway, it's just a random giveaway, no contest this time. Uh, we'll see you guys then. But uh, thank you so much again, guys. It's a pleasure. Um, everyone have a great night. Thank you so much for coming by. Um, hit that follow button, guys. And I'll see you guys Wednesday night at 7. I'm going to go ahead and exit with my little intro video that we do for the stream. So all you new folks, stick around. Um, we're going to have that popped up for you guys. Everyone have a great night. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for the subs, resubs, follows, bits. Out of control tonight. Uh, tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Everyone have an absolutely wonderful night. Get some Cousin Drew emotes in the chat, all my subs, right now. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back Wednesday at 7. Yes, I will be updating the intro. This is the first week that we changed. Um, we were every Tuesday and Thursday, but we, it will be switched. I, I do got to update that. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. I totally forgot. See you Wednesday.